Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 51. It is the 5th of June 2020 and I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hello, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half-Elf Druid. How's it going? I'm Sean. I play Bastiel, the Wolfwatch Cleric. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, who is a Half-Orc Paladin. And I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a Half-Elf Monk. Perfect. We are sans Sophie for now, but hopefully she will join us for the latter half. If not, we are catless. And none of us volunteer as tribute. <laughs> so, I, also, just to get that out of the way, uh, Black Lives Matter, quite frankly. And that's it. That's all I really have Ooh. to say on that. Um, yep. Because, yeah, of course they do. Um, who remembers what happened in the game last time? Um, Bloody hell. <laughs> you emotionally scarred us, that's what happened. <laughs> um we 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 were still kicking kicking back in the library for a wee while with mm -hmm. um I can give you a clue, it's some, not as a Draco. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> um give me give me just one wee second. Uh, Donabella, uh what's the how did we pronounce the last name? Dondra Bella. So Dondra Bella Dondra, Dondra, There you go. Dondra Bella Silent yeah. Age. Yeah, uh, so she's still being a baller. Um, hopefully she's going to come along with us. And uh, yeah, then we went to go, go, yo, let's go check up on the king. And then uh, some some guy decided, yo, I'm going to go see the king as well. And uh, chucked his spear <laughs> through his chest. Yeah, we gave it a fair shot trying to convince him. Um, to help us with the dragons, and I think we actually almost made an enemy of him by the end of it. He was, he was like, "Yeah, we can't. I can't let this happen. I can't let yeah, you guys it, go through this." Shit. Yeah, because it was kind of like, "Yo, it's me or the dragons." Yeah, I was like... going to explain to him. I was going to explain everything to him. I would have freaking calmed him down. I think. Oh, I, I mean, I, I, I think know. right. I think right now he definitely will need to calm down. <laughs> 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 yeah, it all on the floor. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, his favorite seat broken, right? Like, oh, Ray. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I. Um, anything else come up last week? Worthy of note. He's learned a fair bit, to be fair, as well. Um, um your time with Dondra Bella. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We, uh, we. Oh, yes. We pretty much have a prime for recruiting. We need to come to her with a plan, and then seems like she'll join us. Although that might change now that her king is <laughs> uh, <laughs> out of the picture. You know that the king has a chest full of spiracles. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you've learned that comes to my mind, but yeah, I think you've learned that a uh, the dwarf king seemed. Like he really wanted to help, um, but would not risk, you know, dragon interference, even at the cost of making you guys all enemies. Um, you know, it's just, it's a bit of a shame because I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, I'll, give, I'll give you a hint. It was the turning point was when you said, "It's okay, we'll risk that for you." Um, that was the the key part where he was like, I, "I can't let you leave." Because well, you, you just can't take he's, that risk. <laughs> he's yeah. the one with the spear in his chest. Yeah, I mean, so right? Jokes on him, now? right? <laughs> oh dear. Um, Literally nobody. Nobody's laughing. Yeah, nobody. Um, beyond that, let's have we look at our goal list, shall we? And we'll see how those are panning out. So, um, mm -hmm. are any of them changing? Um, right, well, um, I think we, at the end of the last one, we couldn't come up with a way to word, uh, like, dealing with the assassin properly, right? Yeah. But that's, we were aiming to trade the languages one for that. Um, give me a second, um... Um, 
I, find, I don't. I don't think this is breaking too many laws of reality. What if, right? Hear me out, guys. What if, as a goal, we get this assassin to help to join <gasps> our party? Whoa. No. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, just was gonna put it out there. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can totally trust this person, right? Totally. We can trust the rim. Exactly. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we can all agree uh, that they, that that dwarf king looked like a pretty chunky boy, and he's just basically been downed. I'm like, yeah, maybe screw getting dragons, <laughs> screw getting you know dwarfy king. Let's get man who can literally throw a spear through folks' chests. And cheers. Mm. And cheer. And cheer. Yeah, and cheer. yeah he, he shattered the bloody cheer, man. Like Ancient throne. Like, I'm pretty sure that's in, like, tier level of Thor. <laughs> yeah, but they're not gonna want to have anything to do with us, first of all. And second of all, you can't trust them. Well, we could, that, that could be the goal, like, find out their political allegiance. Because if it's, like... If yeah, but just they don't necessarily. <laughs> but they won't necessarily tell us, like honestly. Mm, uh, go crumber for that. I mean, yeah. we're all murderers <laughs> here as well, but. Do you know, for the first time, Stu, that's yeah, you yeah, referencing him in a plan stuff. without throwing shade. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, not the first time. My plan's <laughs> often been to hide behind Crumbar. That's using him in a, yeah. not in a shade. Using him as shade. Yes. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Oh dear. Well, we agreed that the first thing we need to do is escape, probably, because we're really far from the exit. There's no magic in this room, and they're probably going to start killing us. Yeah, where's the, the exit, Bestia? Start. Right, wait, wait, wait. Who's they? None of us have um, Dwarves. The dude. healing potions, do we? Oh, the dude, yeah. <laughs> the dude. That's, I just thought that, of that. Um, I'm healing potions. No. Um, yeah, I've got a few. Work. I am sure. I mean, I don't know how well healing potions do against the spear in the chest. Um, yeah, they, they don't regenerate matter. I mean, I've got three, and I've got... Just put well, them in a yeah, bathtub, fine. pour them yeah. all in, and hope for nah, the best. I've, Just I've, leave I've them. Got, <laughs> I've got 27 uses of lay on hands. Yeah. I yeah, mean, but that's magic, that's something. Yeah, but basically, I just need to. We need to give him a nice bath and healing potions, and then I'll give him a back rub, and he'll be fine. Rub him dead. <laughs> um. Um. So I'm hearing a lot of planning, but I don't see any changes in the goal list. Is there any changes to the goal list you want to make? Uh, um, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just. I'm, I'm, I, I don't mind the the, right. the planning. I don't. Um, I just wouldn't mind also. Moving on from yeah. the goals. Um, well, that that's my idea, guys. I'll, 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 that's just what I'm thinking. So, right. so go attempt to reason with assassin. Is that what you want? Um, I, I want to get the assassin to join us, but you know, if you have better ways. Of... Attempt to bargain with assassin. I would love it if the assassin joined us and you absolutely hated him. <laughs> I'm just fuming for the whole game now. <laughs> yeah, if he just uh, treated Crumbler very badly and uh, the entire time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool yeah, with Yeah, because that's never Google happened that. before. Or we did most NPCs that have been in the party. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um. So... Like... But, I, I mean, when you say that it's all a bit wording now, because obviously if we say bargain, like... That implies that we have to make it some kind of deal with them, rather than just be like, "Hey, I see what you're doing there, bro." But you know, <laughs> nice I'm, throw, my dude. That, <laughs> nice throw. We have them. It's like, how do you feel like doing it fifty-seven thousand more times against all these demons that we know of? Mm. But then he's going to go down to like the the Golden Citadel with this guy in tow, or he's going to like just go... finding out who it is would be important. I think that that could be enough. And then we can decide if we want anything else from this guy. Sorry, I just interrupted. So, okay. identify okay. assassin. I would say mm. it's um, not a goal, as because this was no. at, the last, at the end of the last session. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I already said that's not a goal. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, how do I wear this? Because somebody in your party already knows who this person is. Oh, we do. Dun dun dun. But uh, okay. let's think of uh, are we keeping goal three um, or changing it? Or any of the goals, to be um, honest. I otherwise, I don't know what to change it with, so... Because we've currently got Find the White Dragon, Investigate Who or What the Mistress of the Flame is, uh, Aryan Bastille to trade languages, uh, Get the Dwarves to help the Citadel, uh, Get the Hillblade's assistance with hunting a vampire. For me, I would like to... If, if it was me, I would want to change goal four. To... It is you. I mean, it's just more difficult, right? It's, I mean... Yeah, no, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if, if, if it was up to me, I would take a goal for because I don't think the dwarves are going to help us now. Um, Quite the opposite, you know. They're leaderless. <laughs> We've got a place yeah, for them we... to stay. Um, just head down south and you'll be looked after. Or mm. kite them all the way there. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Draw aggro. <laughs> you know, it's... It has taunt. <laughs> it's going to be a difficult journey, I think. It's, he's going to get like at least eight hours ahead of them every time. Um, so he's what about sleep. this? Yeah. <laughs> what about this for a goal, right? What about just straight up save the king? Because if we did that, then the dwarves probably would immediately be on our side. And that would probably resolve four as well. King may have been your debt. Yeah, Ooh. and it would be that's actually a genuine challenge trying to get this his body out from underneath this like god tier assassin. And if we double complete it, then we can just replace it next time. <clears throat> that's just the same yeah. with any goals. If you don't like them, you can just swap them out. So yeah. Yeah, no. But what I'm saying is, we've we've had some goals stay in like for a long time because we realized early on that. They are important and they should yeah. be accomplished, but we don't know when we'll be able to accomplish mm -hmm. them, sort of thing. Uh, whereas this one would be a quick, like, okay, we've not done it, then tough, mm. and then next session we have something else. What if we just reworded number four so it incorporated saving the king into it? Like, get the dwarves to help the citadel by rescuing king. The problem with that wording is it assumes that rescuing the king will make them help. Yeah, I mean, you would probably mm, have true. a better chance if we just leave it as it is. So, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I'm cool with that. So, is it goal three you're changing then? or? Goal no, I think we're happy to just leave all of them. So, you're I... save the king in? I thought you should all just agree to do that, but my bet got yeah, confused. Thought, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, I we mean, could always shelve stuff for yeah, a little while. I, I think... the language one. I think we can shelve either one, two, or three. I think would be a good one to shelve. Mm. Um, no, Fred, this on Twitch, we'll and we're all super famous. We could totally have got chat to pick what they cared about, right? Oh. <laughs> well, let's try that now. <laughs> Maybe another game when everybody's fully signed up to the idea of being on a Twitch game. I mean, what uh, is Twitch really? Not sponsoring me, sadly. <laughs> Mixer. Mm. Um, so yeah, what, well, if you want to change him, what do you want to put there instead? Um, like I say, um, what? Say exact again. exact wording for me. I would like a goal where it's like get this assassin to join with the party. Okay. Get assassin on our side. Yeah. As well as save the king, and as yeah, well as get out of the dwarf happen. kingdom alive with the assassin of their king. <laughs> yes. yeah, that, I mean, yeah. he killed their king. I think he can take a bunch of, like, non-kingy dwarfs. Well, like 2,000 of them. Um, How sure. big the dwarf kingdom, do you think? I, I don't mean, know, I'm guessing here I as mean, well. But... I think we might have to take out a couple as well, but... Um, so when you have 1,800 or 1,900, you manage to, we could get the rest. Yeah, but like 2,000 is <laughs> ludicrous, obviously. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, 1,900 is completely reasonable, I do you. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I could take about two myself. So, two dwarfs? Yeah. I mean, you did murder like your, your tribe 
quite successfully at hey, lower hey, levels. Hey, no, 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 that never happened. Like, what yeah, those were quite fierce <laughs> orcs, right? You did okay against them, so I wouldn't. Don't sell yourself help. short. Yeah, this is true. And hulking Susan. Uh, yay. Uh, right, so are we shelving goal three to replace it with something? That seems to be the consensus from every day. Attempt to save the king, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't think attempt to save the king would be a goal, because that would be like, have this healing potion. Oh, well, we tried. Goal complete. I think no, you know it. what I mean. Like... Yeah. No, but it'd probably be like a whole little deal with just getting reaching him with what the about, there, what, sure. what about get the king in a stable state? Stabilize the king. Like yeah, in a very it. stable ditch yeah. at the moment. <laughs> like push, push brooms up his sleeve and stuff, and just like prop him up against things. Oh, the assassin went to that away. <laughs> Maneuver the brooms to gesture with a hand. <laughs> so bad. Um, no dwarf king puppetry, please. Um, <laughs> like you remember we can, you remember the movie we weekend the Bernie? Yeah. Right, goal three. We're still here, buddies. Sophie will join and she'll be like, What did I miss? Nothing, we're in the gold space. Um, okay. Right. Uh, somebody sorry. shelf it, somebody put it to the side, right? One, two, three, not it. Okay. So, goal three, language oh. trade. Um, I forgot where we put the shelved one. To the left. Ah, okay. To the left, to the left. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sadly, Beyonce doesn't support the rest either. But she's welcome to, if she ever wanted to. Um... <laughs> yeah. Um... I think you need some room there. Give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's <laughs> a big, massive space you can fit it in now. That, by the way, for the listeners at home, is unrelated to Beyonce. Um, we're talking about gold still. Um, happy explained that to me because I had no idea. <laughs> Actually, I'm not really with a happy explained it to me. <laughs> now I think about it. But... <laughs> Perfect delayed the reaction. Um, save the king. He's happy with that. Yeah. And it's yeah. not just a guy called King. It's the dwarf king. He's talking. He's mean, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'll, wow, great writing. Save the king. Yeah, use your whip. It's on that. No guy called King. It's called the King. First and second <laughs> name, <right? laughs> Should we elab it? Should we expand on that? Nah, you're yeah, good. That's good enough, I think. Yeah, mm. no, I think that's fine. I know what you mean, right? Because you mean save the dwarf king. Yeah. I mean, stabilize the dwarf king. Okay. Imagine you brought him back and the guy with the spear is just like, eh, hey, uh, rude. And just stabs yeah. him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's I'm like, nope, about. nope, plot armor, you can't do that. Oh, dear. Um, right. Are we, um. Oh, God. Yeah, very specific. <laughs> He, oh, before, he, he was the oh, one that sorry. did like peaches and grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, Donar Patravangius, <laughs> king of our hearts. <laughs> um, oh. Okay. Yep. So. I'm about ready. Everybody else happy with that? Then no other last minute changes. No, all good. Cool. <laughs> In that case. These duties. We're gonna fade in after we did the uh -oh. previously on. You know, that's already passed. There is, um... Church Towers. Okay. I am in the background. It seems to be like a sunny day. And the... There's, like, the bustle of a busy city. Noises in the background. There is the back of a tall, dark figure. With long black hair. I am... Wielding a spear. I in their hand, um, looking over I a balcony. This, I think this figure slapped you earlier, Crumba, but yeah, carry on. So they're looking over um, the the city scape that seems to again have these towering spires. 
and uh, there's a voice that kind of rumbles in from off camera and says make sure the Dwarf King does not survive and then we cut back to you guys in the throne room slash so, treasury and so, like, and the body of the Dwarf King and keep in mind you aren't that far away remember you've got to the top of the steps um, mm -hmm. so you are on that kind of plateau um, with the f fragments of the you know once mm -hmm. glorious ice throne king. <laughs> and uh, the king face planted on the, the ground blood splattered everywhere and then as I said this figure who's like stood its spear on end and it said the last words were you should be running um, so what do you do uh, so as he has said that I shall um, turn around to look at him I mean you're probably and, staring at him yeah because you know yeah yeah so I'm like you know so it's like how it's played in my head is spears came rushing by my head smashed into the chair and then we've kind of went, what? And all kind of turned around and then looked no, at No, I'll, I'll give you a bit more of a... Like, if you, if you think that, let's 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 do a doodle, shall we? Um, it's from behind that the spear <laughs> came. All right, so let me just... Let me get us to a blank page. And I'll move Ooh. us all over there. Here we go. All right, so... Let me just put... Throw in doodle. That's the title of this. So... <laughs> throw in doodle! If this was the room, right, and we had like the the plateau, right, and there was like stairs leading off each of these, you know. And I think this one had two sets of them, right. And they all go off the doors, etc. Right, it's not to scale. And then we've got where the throne was, and then you guys were all like lined up here. At the top of the steps, mm -hmm. right? Because these would be like the steps, and then paths off to the do the big do double doors to lead in. Same with all the rest of them. And this figure seems to have appeared from here, and they speared that way. Aha! Uh -huh, so it was from behind. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So turn going to face. Um, also did the spear for you. facing him. Well, um, is ever, get, you know, throwing the spear and uh, there's almost a kind of, like, you know, obviously like a shocked face kind of over me and I'll be like, hmm. <laughs> so you're real this time. I see you've found your weapon as, of choice as well. And, uh, the figure just kind of like draws his eyes up off the ground and looks at the, the group of you and says so you remember me hard to forget Aramos <sighs> like the, the mouth's just this thin line on his face and he says Easy enough for some. And he just dissipates again, like ink dissipating in war. You're fucking kidding. Is he no longer a kid? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. No. And I've been sitting on that for a bloody week. <laughs> <laughs> so. So Not he ha so sorry, Ari, Ari, you were going. No, I, I mean I'm I'm got too many questions. Never mind me. Right, uh, right. Well, you get your questions together. I shall ask. So he has dissipated and disappeared. Yes. Mm -hmm. The spear is that still here? Nope. Never left so his spear hand. Oh, okay. What a dick. Um, yeah, uh, in that case, guys, we should probably look at the king, but, you know, um, 
I'll, I'll probably as um, I will finish up on Crumbar's RPing. So as he starts to dissipate, I will run towards him, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming fail to catch him. And yeah, I think maybe it's just we've got that image of like Crumbar, like in the middle of like the kind of like the last remnants of the kind of black mist, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and you hear Arya softly going all. <laughs> Sorry, like, I just believingly. Mm. Then disappointed. Then. Of course. Disappointed. Oh. Yeah, I'll turn around and look at the entrance to the hallway uh, for reinforcements. The um, the doorway is lying open, and the attendant that would have been like standing on the inside waiting for you guys to return is is no longer there. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll cry snap out. out of it and start yelling for help as well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just cry out. Uh, in Dwarven, I'll bark in Dwarven like. Woof. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aru. Uh, uh, the king has fallen in Dwarven. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to bell that out. The acoustics in here are pretty good as well, so it like fills the room. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Grab the king and try and take him to the door that we came in. Oh. Yeah, the one that's kind of like still lying half open. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. Emily giving you a hand. Oh, yeah, so. it'll just reach can we try to like, see if we, if if a health if a health potion would do anything? You can if you wish. Yeah. Actually, fuck it. It's oh no, because magic, magic doesn't potion. work in here. Yeah, let's drag yeah. him out oh, ASAP. Okay, I know true. I can do. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. I did ask earlier if like magic potions would be the same as actually performing magic, as in useless. Mm -hmm. No. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna assist Reach in running up and dragging the king out of it. Sure. And yeah. you Arya too. So who's? Yeah, um... yeah, I'll be running with you guys. So who's all uh, gonna help? Pull the king, because essentially, who's who's the main actor here pulling the king? I'll. I reckon I should do it because I can tank if if a dude pops up. Cool. Yeah. I am. So, and then, yeah. Do you want to give me an athletics with advantage since folks are helping? Okay. He is helping. Is uh, the character sheet gone? Ah, athletics. Um. Nice. Yay. Nicely done. Didn't need no help. <laughs> They're just slowing <laughs> you down. <laughs> <laughs> Grab him and just drag him out as best you can. Um, assuming, uh, like, you describe how you're, like, taking him out of the room. I don't want to just say you're dragging him, but, like, you tell me how you're getting uh, out of um, Princess Carrie. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Definitely not an easy task. Um, but somehow yeah, you, if it's, you manage it. If it's like actually really hard for me to do, I'll, I'll, I'll yell at Crumbar for help, because I'm not physically that strong. Crumbar, do you even hear him ask for help, or are you still standing where he uh, stood? No, I think I, 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 I mean, especially at 20, yeah, I definitely hear, hear him asking for help. The 20 and isn't I'll him just... speaking, the 20 is him lifting somebody. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So it was sorry, sorry. I think because it was a, right, okay. Um, mm. Yeah, no, but I think I think I'd hear him, and I'd uh, like kind of look back up the stairs, and just be like, hmm, and just kind of start like kind of charging up <sighs> towards him, and just be like, "What do you need?" I, I can't do this on my own. He's dying. He may already be dead. We need him out of this room, so I can work my magic. Okay, I'll, I'll just be trying kinda, to rush you both and say, lend your strength, come on. I'll just kind of, <laughs> like, get another arm of his over my shoulder and just kind of be like, right, on three, one, two, three, and then just go to lift. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you just um, huff it all the way to the uh, the doors. Um, 
By the time you reach the doors, you hear a very large, loud clacks and noise going off. As if the alarm has been raised. Good. Yeah. Totally what we needed. <sighs> and you hear off in the distance the heavy booted marching sounds of perhaps dwarven troops. All of the king's men? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he's get out of the room, yeah, he's cleared the doors. How long did that take? You Do you lay on hands, Crumba? Oh, yeah. No, not yet, because we're still got him kind of carried, so I'd wait till we kind of get him. We're out the room. All we need to do is out the room. Oh, is that all? Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. I thought we we're like trying to like find somewhere to like. Then rest. we can use. Not looking for a comfy bed. We just want to <laughs> see if we can save him. Right. I, I thought we tried to I... use healing word on him. Um. So let's. Um, right. Why don't we all not panic? Right. Mm. Why, yeah. why don't we just a uh, overall initiative, and we'll see okay, who good. gets like. Fun. Who gets what first, right? Because I think that's maybe an easier way to, to work out who acts first, since everybody's trying to do stuff. Um, ah, oh crap. Where did I hit my... Boop. Crumbers fell off. Yep, it's okay, I got another one. But I can't cool. select for some reason. Let me show where God damn, are. every time. Okay, I'm not. Every time. Um, you do have a minus one to it. Like. Oh, crap! I've I've made two. <laughs> I see. Reach is heading for the roof. Ryan, help! I broke broke twenty. <laughs> yeah, but I just need you to roll initiative, buddy. <laughs> Don't I need my token for that? You've got two. I can't select either of them. <laughs> but you can make them. What? Are you on the measuring tool? Is that why? Nope, I'm on the hand selector tool, the, the pointy tool. I just make circles on them. Yeah, I see that. He keeps banging. Um, refresh? I don't need to be in the chat. Uh, I'm a refresh. Yeah, one. those are the wrong crumb bars. Oh, are they the wrong crumb bars? Yeah. You should know yeah, where your crumb is. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, clear sheet. There's my crumb bar. Nope, you're in the misc list. Go to the actual player folder. Yeah, I'm in the player folder. Mm -hmm. The player folder. Sorry. Crumb bar. And no, still can't select it. Nope, because when you open that sheet up, like, close whatever you're looking at and then double click on that token to open it. Like, it still comes up Blood Debt. Which is an old. No, not the one I'm looking at. Let's see. <coughs> it's maybe because the token's still the same. It's interesting because we've never had this issue before. Can't select that one either. And that one? Nope. And you're broken. Forever. Right. Just forever broken. <laughs> Alright, new idea. Close down web browser. Reload up web browser. Yeah. Because there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. Especially since you may able to do it like. Every yeah. other thing. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Um, I think we can tell that Crumber isn't going to be acting first. Based on this. So. Why? Crumber's busy fidd fiddling with his tablet in the middle of the King's Throne room. Evidently, yeah. He's like, he gets his character yes. sheet and it's like, it doesn't make any sense. I just can't <laughs> unroll it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's so, yeah, definitely so strange. 
Yeah, it keeps thinking that the token belongs to um, the Blood Debt version of your character sheet. That is weird. Um, what I will try to do instead is just go... Boop. Well, wait. Yeah, we well, go. I wasn't going first then. Anyway. Yeah. Well, make a note to fix this. This needs to be an admin thing we fix. But we're not doing it now. Mm -hmm. So, there's our order. Oh, yeah. So, my first point of action would be to... Um, as we're out of the room, right? We're just out right now. Yeah. We've just step foot out of it, right? Okay. Uh, I will use healing word on the king to hopefully try to save his ass. <laughs> um, just the ass. You know what I mean. Um, oh, I will mark the spell. Okay, yep, so you do that. Mm, doesn't seem to be any difference. Shit. Um, and as my action, can I, like, try to examine him? Like, obviously, I, I'm not a medic, but... Actually, I am a medic! Yes, I will, I will <laughs> try to... <laughs> I keep forgetting what stats I have with each, with each character. Oh, you're talking about a feature. Cool. Um, so, well, I just have sticks in medicine, so, you know, quite decent. I'll try to to see if I can physically stabilize him. Can if you I could figure, can you, you know, see take the, the pulse, do that sort of thing. No, I can't. Nope. Not anymore. It just disappeared from me as well. Well, I mean, but that is so. I could see myself earlier. See the window, but it's blank. Yeah, I was gonna say mm -hmm. I've I can see that on the other screen, but I can see um I can see everything anyway, so don't worry. Right, so you want to do a healing, like a medicine check, to try and gauge something from him. Is that correct? Are you? First, are you? Are you using a healer's kit? Or what you do? How you doing? I don't actually have a healer's kit. I just have plus six in medicine, so I can oh, cool. probably try to like examine him and try to stabilize him, or at least check for a pulse, basically. I'm going to give me a medicine check. Oh, uh, I don't know why I had advantage on that. Ooh. I'll untoggle that, but... Um... Yeah, you, you check for a pulse and there is no pulse. Oh no. Uh-oh. Does like anyone that? have electric magic? <laughs> So um, he might have, he might have mages that are able to revive him. You might have rages that mages. are able. Yeah, you might have mages that are able to revive him. <laughs> no, um, I mean the kidsmen. I'm, so, I'm reach. Any plans? If I just want somebody to try and cast healing on him, so no. Uh, shout out, somebody cast healing on him. Uh, I mean, that has uh, just happened. I thought they just did the medicine check to see how he was. Mm. Uh, but, oh, healing word, right, okay. Were, yeah, you, were you zoned dead. out? Yeah. No, nah, we're dead. Yeah. Uh, no, nope, nothing. Cool. Best deal. just want to wait for the guards. Yeah. Right, guards. <laughs> well, you can definitely hear the guards coming. Yeah. Along with the flexor. Uh, yeah, I'll be desperate scrambling. I'll empty out all my bags on the floor and I'll, I'll fish out a diamond. Mm -hmm. And I'll attempt to cast Revivify. Okay. Oh. Push the buttons. Uh. Push the buttons. Sorry, I just had to provide the sound effects. For... Is it a cool one? Or is that funny attacks? Uh. Use spells. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, there's no roll. No, it's just to mark it that it's been done. Cool. And mark off a spell slot. Yeah. 
I also need you to, after you've marked off your spell slot and you go to your bio tab. Yep. And then wherever you would like to track this, I want mm -hmm. you to type in your um, attempted resurrections. And I want you to put a number one in. Please spell though. Yeah. Right, so wait, how does res 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 revivify revivify work? <laughs> Read it. I'd have rather you just let him keep trying to say that, you're always yeah, enjoying like, that. <laughs> <laughs> so Bastille attempted resurrections and put a one next to it. Because mm -hmm. you know why you're tracking this if you remember yeah. our chats. About no, no, that, 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 yeah, that, that's, I'm also that's talking what... to Bastille Scott, so not you. Sorry. sorry. Yes. So, um, you got all that lo locked in? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good man. Right, you. So, yeah, describe how this looks, please, Bastille. So, I'm I'm shaking and I'm looking around and I'm secretly thinking, can the golden worm do anything about this? I've never tried something before, but I'm going to put my faith in Celeste. And I guess the diamond kind of disintegrates and slowly gl glows brighter and brighter into like a really bright um, kind of effervescent dust and kind of magnetizes to the wound and I guess light rays shoot out or something. It, does it work? <laughs> Sorry, I, and light rays shoot out I guess. Like it's, <laughs> come on man. <laughs> okay, they, they kind of like they swirl around in an attempt to knit the, the flesh back together and rebuild and transmute into like organic matter. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like the wound seems to like seal itself back up. Check for a pulse. I'll give my medicine check. Good roll. What is it with people leaving a advantage on? Sorry. It's okay. It doesn't make too much. you don't notice when yeah. you give it. <laughs> nah, sadly not. Nah, whom? But yeah. Yeah, you feel a bit of a pulse. <gasps> Is that He's the good. king? <laughs> 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 oh, it's, good. It's, it's not going to be from Bastille, is it? So. Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. That just makes things even more awkward now. So, he opens his bloodshot eyes, his beard all covered in blood, lying on the steps outside the doors into the, uh, you know, the throne room. He uh, goes to speak, and it's just like this horrible gargling noise that comes up as he's kind of clutching up towards you, Bastille. Grumbar, yeah. it's your turn. So he's conscious and he's breathing. You've also just witnessed so. somebody bring somebody back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um. So, dealing with, is that something I would have, is that a type of magic I would have known about or have seen before? Definitely not seen before. Resurrection magic is very, very rare. Hmm. But it's, it's something that I would know about. Like, there is definitely tales of people that have defied death. Yes. Right. But whether or not you believed yeah. in them is a different story. Jeebus. <laughs> <laughs> Norse Jeebus, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would, you know, first of all, be like, the king's not dead. Can I give Bastille a glance? And so, hmm. You are just full of surprises, aren't you? And uh, crouch down beside the king and like 
try to look inside his mouth to see like what it is that he's gargling on. It's blood. It's what, sorry? Blood. Um, in that case, I shall um, kind of like try to like, like tip him up to so that like he's not going to like choke. Empty him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just keeps, um, all these gold coins keep falling out. <laughs> <laughs> and place my hand on his back well and you will see it tingly a little bit. And what are for? Let's go f- seventeen, just so it's easy math. Is that easy math? Seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> You've got ten left, I think. Ten. Is that why you're saying that? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. Your so, yeah, uh, golden glow go- like mm. takes effect, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, he kind of just like, as he's been set up by you, he kind of like leans forward and between his legs and just hawks up a you know hairball equivalent of a uh, blood that he spits on the floor. Um, oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks. Fuck. He, <laughs> he looks up and he's like, "What Not exactly happened?" As he's kind of like, he's still kind of like hanging on to like. Bastiel for like stability. Mm. <clears throat> Somebody speared you in the back. I think it was in his chest, mate. <laughs> well, it was th- from the back. From, from the back. Point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's um obviously looks a bit gone, right? Um, yeah. and he's looking around. I everyone. Can I like? put like a healing word in him again yes i'm feeling bad at how messed up he is <laughs> i'll be like so i'll try to help you further and heal you further and i will uh use oh god i'll just do it at level two this time and i'll mark the spell cool Yep. Be like, I hope you feel better now. And like, normally, obviously, you get visuals of how effective your magics are. are. Um, like, you mm. know, scars knitting back up and stuff like that. That have, like, or like wounds, I should say, knitting back up that have been like torn open in fights mm. when you heal each other. But beyond the like damaged, like you know, clothing that he's wearing, um, the kind of puncture wound in the back and through the chest, and like the lack of, you know, cavity now. Um, like you're, you don't really see any difference. Like he's still like pretty fucked up looking. He's these bloodshot eyes, and yeah, it's like your magic's not as effective as you would expect it to be, right? Or the damage taken is far greater than you have healed so far, right? Mm. The dude has got a thousand hit points, so yeah. That's... Yeah, not not the worst assumption. I am. Um, that these are drops in the ocean, right? Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, as he's, he's just coughing and, like, trying to, like, feel the fact that his lungs are intact again, you know? Like, various things like this. Um, are happening as a, the guards march up and approach with, like, their big heavy-duty crossbows and their shield walls and uh, the attendant le- leading them as well. And... They all like march up this kind of path towards you guys, towards the king, and you just hear the uh, dwarf attendant say, Please step away from the king. Do that? Yeah, take two steps backwards <laughs> from him. Same, mm. I like raise my hands and like very like carefully and be like, yeah. We were helping, not hurting him. What about... Thump when Crumbar lets go of him. What about Crumbar and a uh, Bastille? Mm. Uh, I'll I'll kind of I'll firmly kind of shake the king once or twice, just gently, <laughs> firmly, and I'll say, "My lord, arm yourself. The assassin still lurks." And I'll I'll look at him, and just kind of mentally register whether he's still he's all there. And then I'll let I'll eventually let go. 
Yeah, like, Stand if up. he took that in, it, it, there is no sign of it registering. There is no seen message, only sent. Um, yeah, I am... Um, he's still got, like, a hold of, like, I don't know, like, your forearm or something, though, as well. I am... Um, mm. For, like, stability. But yeah, do you stand up and back away? Um, I stand up lifting him too, I guess. Or I thought I kind of just let him slump to the ground. Um, okay, uh, oh, I'll that's drag so my backpack. Like... I'll, I'll put my backpack down pillow and, and kind of let him gently rest on the down. Well, oh, that's I was going to ask him. Am I still holding him as well, or is he? Oh, you're behind him, right? Like you, you put like, your hand on his back. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, mm. for me, that was like kind of like I'd be like sitting at his side, one of his arms over my shoulder, my hand on his back, kind of thing. Mm, mm, mm. Like okay. you would like support a drunk friend and over the toilet throwing up. <laughs> yeah. I don't think his hand would have stayed around your shoulder for very long. To be honest, it would mostly have been hawking up his uh, guts, quite frankly. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. If he's if he's not needing me for any support, then yeah, I'll do, I'd just stand up and kind of back away and be like he's stable but he still needs attention the uh, attendant like runs towards him uh, all the other kind of uh, dwarves like like step by step tentatively like approach you guys like there's just like a, a funnel of like armoured crossbow dudes and uh, the attendant runs and the king like kind of like waves his hand like dismissively at the attendant I am so like coughing and spluttering as he's like half attempting to stand up, but then maybe he just resigns himself to using his arm as a support on the ground. I am, oh. you know, like when you go to push and you realize if I try this, I will fail, so I am good here. I yeah. am, and uh, he manages to get out enough, like through all the kind of coughing. And he, he says, Assassin. And uh, the attendant looks up at you guys instantly, look down, and the king grabs him, kind of like by the lapels, and says, In Forge, there is an assassin. Find him. Uh, and then, like, kind of throws him back a bit, you know, a couple of steps. Mm. Um, and then, like, coughs Sorry. again, <laughs> and then stands up, pushes himself off the there and just holds his hand out behind like as if back towards you guys um, and then after like a couple of seconds or whatever the like the door just like gets buckled open um, and his hammer flies towards his hand Oh! and then he nice. just uh, starts marching through the troops at all part ways like a sea you know as he just marches off down the middle of them with his hammer in his hand mm. And then, yeah, the attendant gets up and shouts some commands to the dwarves and they all march away. Okay. After, Follow like, a lead. minute, you are, like, you are just pretty much left there. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. No, well, nice to know they're not blaming us, so that's good. Um, that's good. Yeah. I mean, the king isn't blaming choices, you guys, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, ooh, dodged a billet there. Right, I had to fight off some dwarfs after well, all. Well, dodge some crossbow bolts, maybe. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> the spear of darkness. Yeah, right. So, what's the plan, guys? I look around and I'll say that looked pretty fucking magical to me in regards to the spear, and like I'll nod towards the room. The hell was that? And I just, uh, I'll just kind of say, like, kind of look. Look up, like look towards the door, and kind of look at the rest of the room. And go, I think we found what we're looking for. Uh, I look at all you like the, what something's going on here that I'm clearly not privy to. <laughs> yeah, a look of please fill in the blanks, maybe is what crawls upon <laughs> Bastille's face mm -hmm. as he looks at the rest <laughs> of the group. Well, Somebody is it's a kid we kidnapped Taylor on. <laughs> 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 I would be oh, quite confused as well because if I understand correctly, Aramos does not look the way he looked before, right? He Correct. seems to have aged or something. Tripled in height and aged significantly, yeah. Well, that too. And um He done a puberty. <laughs> and I'm like, how would 
how how did he even know it was Eremos? Like I'd be I'd be turning toward towards Crumbar and be like Eremos? Why how how was that Eremos? I mean, he's just a kid, that was a grown up. Crumbar? Yeah, um I'm just sorry, just trying to think in how uh I wanna answer this. Um. Yep. Okay. Cool. So you've 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 kind of said that 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 was just a kid and things. Um. I will add that some guards have what like have since moved past you when they all marched away when the lieutenant was barking orders to follow the king. Like some marched past you guys into like the throne room to like go secure the other doors of the throne room. There's other doors. <sighs> I mean, um. Yeah. Sorry. Just. Just pausing okay. for dramatic effect while I think of what to say, Tario. Um, I will uh, go just say, um, what will Scott say? What will Crumbar say? Even better, actually. What will Crumbar say? Um, yeah, you'll just look at Barry and go, I've seen him in this form before, and it seems that this is the one he's taking now. Seen him before when? We've not seen him in what would it have been months, years, months, months. Right? Yeah. And uh, if you were to kind of look at Crumbar, like he's, you'd see slight tremors in his hands, and be like, I seen him. After I drank that bottle of wine we found. So you're saying you had a your your hallucination made you see him. But how do you know that's Eremos? Like that doesn't look anything like Eremos. No, I just look at and um, be like I mean, he's just I, a boy. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand your confusion. Um, I'd just be like, I don't know. I yet, I still don't know what that drink was, but it took me to a place that showed me many things. One of them was him. He believed that was Eremos, then. <sighs> We have completely and utterly failed Celeste. Not exactly. How is Bastille reacting to these words? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about I was concentrating on that. Um, how do I say my ears perked up as a robot? I guess. You beeped. <laughs> <laughs> um, your antenna's yeah, twitched. Yeah, you, you, activate, <laughs> you activate phantom power on your microphones. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of crane my neck up. Failed, huh? I'll be like, Mask. yeah, I'll be like, I think, I think not. Like I say, I think we found what she was at. She asked us to get. What did she ask of you? To find the Black Fang Spear. Black Fang Spear. I think it's a weapon he was wielding. Hmm. So do you mean we were supposed to find Eremos and the Dark Fang Spear? And not Eremos the Dark Fang Spear? Whoa. And, uh, and I'll just kind of like... Eremos is Dark hmm. Fang Spear. Yeah. Um, I'll just kind of gesture towards... Like the kind of the door, and just be like, like the door the, to the throne room, and be like, you witnessed the destruction that thing could cause. I think it's that weapon that she wants. He is merely just the wielder. You see her take like a deep breath, and she's just like. 
you know, like heavy, heavy sigh of the person that doesn't know what the fuck to do and what what's going on and is, you know, sad and worried and very much disappointed that, you know, the mm-hmm. kid that she took that much care of turned out to be a friggin' killer. Well, well when I we took know. into the abyss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should we just do a quick history catch up for? I mean, no, keep all this in character, please. Yes, yes, yeah. actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. RP okay. more. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll look down at the ground at like probably enough blood that like if it came from one being, they probably would be a dead body. Mm-hmm. I'll look down and I'll and just shaking, I'll say, "We hunt him down." Because I don't, I can't be tactful about this. I don't know that you raised him or anything. Yep, yep, yep. 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 No, um, we didn't raise him. So we just bonded for a few months. Oh, when he uh, when he says that we have to hunt him down, I'll be like, we need to find him. Yes, we have a way to find him. Hmm. We should check about the spell for that. <laughs> no, we don't need a spell. We need well, we need a mage. Uh, uh, but. Is it is Adri? You've got something that belongs to him. We can you track him with that. Can Our mage can track him with that. Yeah, we can definitely try that. So when you do, just go find a mage. We're sorted. Uh, Get the feet when he's going to be a few thousand miles away, though. But... Yep. No. I mean, I don't know. The king might have all sorts at his castle, at his uh, court. I will definitely have a mage. What about Don Jabel? I think. I don't know if she's a mage, but she could maybe think know she's someone. A she might know somebody that could help us, though. Oh, gotcha. Mages probably um, use books now and again. Yeah. I mean, if I was a mage, I'd probably need a book at some point. Mm. Mm. Let's make a beeline for her. So yeah, like there was something that Adri said that I think Arya actually said, which was you know, he oh. like something along the lines of we get like akin to we raised him, but it wasn't those exact words, but it was something you had said. Yeah, it sounded like you'd said it in character, Arya. Um, yeah, yeah. So we, we I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say the phrase we cared for him. Like I feel like maybe Bastille would have, maybe a reaction to that as well, considering yeah they maybe raised the killer of your people. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also with the dark elf thing from last week. I suppose, and this is nothing to do with the dark elf as well. Yeah, yeah it's just to be extra. This is. <laughs> yep. yep. Nothing to the yes. fact that they work for a dark elf. Yep. So, yeah. Bastiel, uh, activate instant kill mode. Um. <laughs> I think I feel um, I feel looked after in the fact that Celeste just answered my call with the revivify, and I'm I'm torn between her words. She put me on this path with these people. And... Oh. Oh. Yep. <laughs> It was almost divine intervention there. That's not <laughs> conflicts. Like, I'll just, I'll defer to Celeste and I'll just see where this goes because clearly there's more than I know with this spear and, and stuff. Mm. There, there are parts of this plan that she hasn't even told me. Maybe I'm a bit jealous about that. But I don't know. <laughs> mm. Right. Why would she keep things mm. from you, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, hey, what's the plan, guys? Instinctively, I want to run to Dondrabella and find out about the spear, find out about how to track down this guy. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Information. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think being able to find this guy would be a clever idea. So, yeah. Off we go. Um, Try and explain is going to be tough, by the way, though. I think. Um, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah. I think. Uh, 
As we did we... not take responsibility for something. <laughs> it wasn't our fault retroactively. Yeah, right. Magna. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think as as we're kind of leaving... Um, Remember, it's like a half an hour journey running to get there. Yeah. Um, um, I'd uh, kind of hold diarrhea back a bit and just go... I'm sorry, but I think we failed him. And then just kind of walk off towards where we'd find... Uh, where was it? Was she just in, like, the, the lab? It was just the library she was in, wasn't it? Right, she's in the yeah, library. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, so, yeah, I'd just kind of head off towards the library. Yep, I think I called it literally the Grand Library, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't remember if that was the Grand Library or the one that we broke in through was the grand library i guess couple i mean nobody has really referred to that place so the only place they've ever Whoa. mentioned was the grand library that was like area 50 i think the less mentioned about that place <laughs> oh that's why we found all the like strange occult shit yeah okay whoa yeah, imagine that. A magic key that takes you through a magical corridor to a, <laughs> a secret library full of, you know, forbidden books with a giant bowl of fire in the middle of it. Weird, right? Man, I could totally go a giant bowl of fire right now. <laughs> so could a lot of places. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we could just, like, have you guys maneuver through the labyrinth that is Forge and get to the Grand Library again, yeah? Yeah, pick all my shit up back off the floor. Try oh, yeah. and ready myself for combat, anticipating that this guy's going to jump out any second. Sorry, he's wanting to move around with the weapons in your hands, or? Yeah, I'll draw my shield at the very least, and uh, yeah. What about everybody else? I mean, I'm I'm pretty good with what I'm rocking the now, so. Yeah, I'll keep my hands drawn. Yes. Laughs in monk. Yes. Ha ha ha. But like, what about the people that actually need to like hold weapons? So... I won't. I mind just this issue. Okay. Cool. Shield out, mace, uh, hammer, uh, sheet. Uh, well, not sheet. On your back, yeah. Like uh, wherever yeah. it's wherever it lives. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, are you? So we're just going around trying to find him, right? If I understood correctly. No, you have misunderstood. You are going to head to the library. Oh, okay. Uh, then. Are we all in different I chats? Is not... that what's happening tonight? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, would, I, I just got confused for a second. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I would not have my, my bow and arrow out. No, I'll, they'll be on my back firmly. And if anything happens, you know, if, if anybody jumps at us, they're going to get fried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And three. And um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as you move through, you can see obviously there is like massive like formations of troops moving across the uh, like the the pathways and walkways, ups and downs of the place. You can you can only really tell from the echoes of footsteps up away up into the darkness beyond your dark visions, um, <laughs> with the kind of towering, as I say, the labyrinth that this place happens to be. Um, Lots of swift movement, etc. It seems like there's a, you know, mountain-wide search underway. And, oh. yeah. So, as you move through, you get some strange looks from some of the kind of, like, platoons, as it were, that pass you by. Um, a lot of them seem to have shields with built-in slots that have their heavy crossbows fitted into them. Um, <laughs> That's quite badass. As well. Sick. So, yeah. And they seem to, like take up the front of these formations various oh, uh, nice. yeah various forms of a uh, dwarven badassery um, <coughs> and yeah I, after about I'd say half an hour of you guys like navigating the the troop movements you uh, get to the library there's like a bunch of guards posted outside the library um, this time as well what do they think somebody's going to attack the books it's I mean, more just that they've put sentries everywhere, right? Hmm. Like there are guards literally everywhere. I mean, if it was me, gotcha. I'd I would attack the books. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be my first well. point of call. Hate <laughs> <Right>, math. <laughs> oh dear. 
Crumbar is just so close to the Hulk sometimes. <laughs> um, Susan? Where? Yeah, Hulking Susan, yes. Um, you cannot get the knowledge in your head by hitting your head against the book. That's not how it works. <laughs> Good enough. Or you, you don't get the memories out of your head by hitting your head off of things either. Um, well, that <laughs> unless you mean permanently oh. and unretrievable. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you just get to the, the library, a um, bunch of guards there, they give you some kind of like odd looks as you just walk in. Hmm. Like, um, where we need Dondra Bella. Oh, they're, they're not blocking you, like, the door's open as well. Mm. Oh. Yeah, like, they're just looking cool. at you funny, because, I mean, maybe they're thinking, are these tall skinny people with long dark hair and a big black spear? Nope, cool, and you just go. <laughs> like, you all look distinctly not the description that was uh, given, right? I think I'll nod at them in thanks for being guards, kind of. Just like, uh, it probably shook me up, and I didn't realize how much I truly cared for this civilization until mm. I saw the king get wasted. Yeah. Just respectful nod. Mm. And uh, as you head in, you can see um, Don Drabella seems to be like flitting between stacks of books that are like obviously on shelves and whatnot. Um, you mostly just hear her um, ever so slightly out of breath complaints to herself. Mm. Uh, I mean, who wants to go? I feel like Bastille's kind of leading the charge on this one, so I'm expecting you. I would expect you to go first. You are rich anyway. Uh, I'm kind of taking a back seat because I, I don't know this guy and it's obvious to me that you guys know what's going on with the whole dark spirit. Uh, well, Reach then, it'd probably be you that mm. takes point. Just ask the guy if uh, so we're looking for a mage to try and help us track this assassin. And you're saying this to Don Drabella? Yeah, yeah. And uh, she's like, Hi, I heard. And then she's uh, like struggling with like a big pile of books, so she's like piling more on top of the big stone desk that she works at. And she's walking back to the stacks. Well, don't just stand there. He's gonna, he's all carry. I'll assist her. We'll just yeah. do manual labour. And she's just asking questions. She's just pointing to like, like stacks of shelves and whatnot, and then like listing volume numbers. Um, yeah. And like, how's there a mage in here? She kind of turns around and she goes, Left now, questions later. Points at like, you to get like some right. of the you know, volumes as well. Left the book. Yeah, Obviously, anybody books. that speaks Dwarven can help. Anyone that doesn't speak Dwarven probably would struggle um, to read the volumes. Um, yep. But yeah. Um, I just stand back, kind of like, like, and oh, I'm like, their king nearly got. Wasted and your stacking books. And she just looks and she goes, "Okay, you, you've lost the right to speak." Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I've, I've, I've not, I haven't said it. It's like that's just kind of like what I'm thinking. Like I'd be thinking. Uh. Nope, you didn't say that, so you said it. Done. I did say that. <laughs> nope. No, this is the rules. <laughs> gonna introduce random rules throughout the game. We're just gonna have to suffer. <laughs> um. But yeah, if you're gonna do stuff like that, like sharing thoughts is only good if it's a look somebody can read on your face. Otherwise, it's literally dead space, right? Does that right, make sense? Okay. And I, I don't mean it wouldn't necessarily add detail to what you're going through, but if you're not saying, "I have a look on my face that you can clearly tell I'm thinking how bad a decision this was," right? That is something other people can use. Otherwise, you're mm. just telling us stuff we don't know and have no okay. way to know, right? Disapproving uh, look. So. Yeah, she's uh, busy kind of directing you guys to go get like more and more books from these shelves and piling them up onto her, her desk. And then she's like pouring through them. And she's like, I can't believe this happened. And she's like muttering to herself, like pouring through books. Um, kind of like, you know, page after page and like throwing a book aside as if it wasn't any help to her. Um, and looking through more and more and like moving the candles closer, lighting more of them. And then she's like, Sorry, I'm, be I'm being distracted. What? Why is here? Because uh, we need to find a mage to help us track the assassin. 
track the assassin how? Uh, with a spell, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> she turns her like she tilts her head and like her lip ball like kind of like thins and she's like, uh huh. I got that part. Mage spell spell mage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the assassin? I wouldn't say that, but we've got something that probably belonged to him. So he raises an eyebrow. Mm. Right. And you survived the fight with an assassin that took out the king. The assassin disappeared. How did you get something that belonged to them then? Yeah, we were quick. Raises another eyebrow. Do you want to roll a deception check for everybody? <laughs> Damn. Deception. Whoa. It's not bad. It isn't bad. It's pretty good for me. <laughs> not bad at <laughs> zero. All. Nice. Yeah, so she gives you a look. Like, she, like her brow furrows. And then she goes, Well, I know magic. Can't say I'm a mage, but I can't. You, know, you don't get to spend as much time with books without picking up something. And she starts like furiously pouring through the. Uh, Mostly books, but yeah. yeah. She starts like pouring through the, uh, you know, the books in front of her. So she's like furiously looking for something, and she just starts like putting her hand out and like gesturing to you to like you know give her whatever it is, yeah. just with her hand. What is it we've got? Are you, are you? Anyway, is it a book or something? It's not a book. What, what is it? Yeah, it is his favourite book. His favourite book, brilliant, yeah. If you can, like, ask you for the favourite book. Arya, can I have the favourite book? Uh, well, yeah, can I have the I, book? I, hand, yeah. I handed it I handed it to him. Yeah, So, go. I'm, I'm going to ask for clarity here, Don't right? Because you've, you've changed your mind there. Yes. The book. <laughs> not <laughs> not the his favourite book versus <laughs> the book, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why they had tied yes. up the ribbons and everything. That's what I was going to um, Right, yeah. So you you hand over, like, you, you're past the, the book, yes? Yes, yeah. And then mm-hmm. you, you give it over to Dunderbella, yeah? Yes, do that. And she, like, gets handed the tome. She's like, you just grabbed this, huh? Hmm. And she like thumps it down, um, and she starts like pouring through the uh, the books that she's been looking through, and then like like drawing her finger down the the paper, and it looks as if she's like really really fastly like, kind of skim reading, and then like flicks a couple of pages in, like with her hand holding where she was in the first place, and then just goes bah, and just pushes the whole book to the side, and brings up like, another one, and starts doing like the same kind of process. Like her other hand, just kind of like tapping, kind of on the the book you've handed her, so she's kind of like leaning on it, but like absentmindedly just tapping her fingers. And this goes on for maybe like a, a couple of minutes. Hmm. That's a good point. One of us, we should probably have tried to read the book. Should have taken a piece of that throne. <laughs> Keepsakes. <laughs> yep. Some ancient <laughs> dragon packed ice, right? Um <laughs> so we're to a tourist somewhere, yeah. Mm. yeah. And then uh, she looks up. So like Right, okay. Good. Found it. Um And she looks at the book under her hand and she goes, Yeah. So I'm going to need things for this to work. And I'm just going to paste you guys in to the chat. Mm. The component list. <laughs> I'm just going to paste into the chat. Everything! 1,000 gold Focus. A, a silver mirror or a or a font filled with holy water. Okay. So she mentions Good. something akin to this, where she's like, we'll need something as a, you know, a focus. Um, ideally, the more familiar, the better. 
kind of nods like profusely. I mean, my armor is pretty shiny. Then you could make me out to be like a telly tubby. <laughs> oh. Uh, a focus. Yeah. Can I attempt to relate to that magically? Understand what would be a good conduit for magic? I mean, it literally gives you suggestions in there. It says such as a crystal ball, a silver mirror, or oh. a font filled with holy water. Oh, I didn't see the such as. I thought it was all these things. Cool. No, no, the, the, oh, right. Okay. Examples. Yes. Right. So it says find something that could be used as a focus, like those things, worth crystal at least a thousand ball. gold. Yeah. We've got two people with focuses here already, don't we? Crumbar so and it's, Bastille. The word is more general than that. It needs mm. a focus for the spell to work because you would look into a crystal ball or a silver mirror or a, like a font filled with holy water like Galadriel. That mm. would be the focus for the spell. Yeah. You also would still need the focus to cast the spell, which is the arcane focus or druidic focus. Those are separate things. Don't confuse right. them. Um, ah. It's bad because of the wording is the same, right? But yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it looks like the holy water font is the easiest one of those. Maybe a chunk of the shrine would count as a crystal ball, but I don't know if that's enough focus. So mm, we could try. To... We could definitely try that. I mean, mm, yeah. Uh, Don Trabella, where would we find a font of holy water? Just so I know, like you know, what's faster. Going back to get the chunk, or thing is, like, you would need it to be like a familiar enough focus for the the spell, right? So, where do you think you'd find a font of holy water in a city? A choice. Yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know where the church is. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll ask you then. Where's the church? Do you think they'll help us? Should be like a. I mean, if it's for the king, I don't see why not. But I imagine a lot of these places have been secured. You know, cities on lockdown. <laughs> you just had to go there. I mean, there's no other. What, what other terms do you want me to use? Those are the terms we have. I love. Um, and the librarian's not in furlough. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Essential workers taps her head. <laughs> More um, like expendable workers taps her head, shakes her head. Um, right. What do you think, guys? Do you, do you think a. I'll say this out loud so Dondra Bella can hear. Do you think a, a chunk of that throne could work? The throne? Oh. She kind of like says kind of mostly to herself, like what? The, uh... The assassin shattered his throne with the murdering blow. I think she just kind of sits back at like that, into the, the stone chair she's got. Like, oof. Um, and she just kind of looks a wee bit in shock, like, trying to ponder what mm. that even means. <laughs> I'll try and describe the spear to her, so maybe it kind of makes sense. Sure, yeah. In in kind of in vivid detail. If I got that from that. She's probably thinking just the political ramifications of the peace between the dragons and the dwarves being destroyed. But that's... Probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My head went to, like, what kind of object could do such a thing. But, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that probably matters more. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, she's kind of, like, there. Um, and as you're kind of talking to her, you can, again, much like with the king, you can just see the words are clearly not quite reaching her. And she's yeah. like, you say a spear did this? I don't know of any spear uh, that could have broke the throne. I'll look to the group and say the shadow spear, the dark spear. Black We've fang all spear. seen it. Black fang spear. <sighs> you okay there, Fritch? <laughs> oh, I thought that was Don Trapella thinking. No. Really hot. Yeah. Just we, uh, how did we learn this in this wee uh, two, three second, well, ten second fight? Uh, so. 
Oh, you think we're making an assumption here that that was it? No, I'm just thinking we're telling too much information, but oh yeah, we hung about this guy oh, for well. months <laughs> beforehand, yeah. Was, you were like oh. doodling in the margins, if you noticed that there in the book. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing, she hasn't opened the book yet. Uh, right. it's just, it's I'm just worried like, what's in the book, I think we're going to open it and there's going to be bloody writing in it. <laughs> she um, looks up at you guys and says, hey, uh, sorry, um, Find find something to focus the spell on, and be quick. Churches are up. Um, some are down, but they're too far down, so you don't want to go down. Up, up is best if you don't want a church. But I don't know if they'll be of any help. Um, so I might not be welcoming a lot of the churches anymore, but that's fine. If you. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of just like says that to herself, and then she kind of like looks at everyone. Well, we'll go. And then, like, waves are both her hands at you. What are you just waiting on? Yeah. Yeah, so, um... A map would be handy. Ah. She looks, she's, hi, um... Right. And then she just, like, picks up one of the books she'd pushed away and just rips a page out and then grabs a quill and just starts doodling over it in ink. Um... And then it is just, like, <laughs> the most crudest thing ever. Um... It's in Dwarven, but you can read that. Um... And it is literally just mm-hmm. kind of like relatively simple instructions she hands it to you reach. And the book she tore out of was probably like, you know, probably a couple hundred years old, right? But, yeah. you know, here we are. Lovely oh. library. Yeah. Mm. Flex. And she's staring at you. Go. This bolt. Yeah, um, I think it's safe Go. to say we uh, vanish. Uh, yeah. So where are actually are you going? Like, what is the plan? Because I've heard various things. Go, We've had well, go find a church to try and steal a font, or perhaps something like a big silver mirror, or a hmm. piece of the throne, right? Um, yeah, I mean so, at least at least go and try. Try and the get. church first because it's the most nicest answer. Yeah. If they just volunteer it, for we honest, we'll we'll bring it back. We probably I don't mean, all need yeah, to be. That that's yeah. a shout actually. Why don't we split up? Two of us go to the church, two of us go to the throne room, and we shall see what we acquire. So, do you want to give me a wee survival check there, Reach, when you're looking over the uh, directions to the church? Ooh. Survival. So it's for some wee, some wee navigation. So, Not uh, terrible. All right. It's um, it's very far up in the city. Like, that's a lot of travelling. Oh. Yeah. So it's just, it depends on um, how um, time conscious you guys are. You know it's about half an hour if you all run back to the throne room. I'd say go to the throne room first. It then. is about, let's say roughly, it's say more like two hours still... one way to get to the uh, right. church. Yeah. Right. We still probably need holy water though. That's the only problem. But can you do that? Can a paladin make holy water? You don't. The font would need to be filled with holy water for the reflection. Yeah. You'd need the whole font. Whereas you'd need the font and the holy water. You would also then need like these are things like so it's a crystal bowl or a silver mirror or yeah. a font filled with holy water. Yeah. So were we not thinking of using the throne as a font? Uh, you, no, using it as a, a crystal bowl. Just the whole thing, a crystal bowl. Right? Yeah, because cool. it's like a big chunk of reflective yeah. ice, right? Yeah. That's what I assumed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Prism. Yeah. I assumed yeah, that's okay. what he was going for. Yeah. Try that. Okay, and I'd like I'd like to give you guys another chance to check with this Oromos felt Eremo traces. So yeah, happy with the throne. Yeah, okay. cool. Um, well, before we leave, I will pick up Eremos's book. Yeah, and uh, as we leave, I'm, I'm I'm assuming we're leaving just now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. So as we leave, I will open up the book. Yeah. And sure. try to read it. The um. Ooh. As you're heading out uh, of the library, so you walk back up to Dondrabella as everybody else is like looking at these uh, dwarven scriptures on the the <laughs> the ripped out page, and uh, 
you then say, right, well, okay, the, the throne room's maybe the best place to go. What do you go back and say to her? Because obviously she has the book. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, so walk up to her and be like, uh, Dundra Bella, do you mind if we take the book back just now? It's just kind of like busy scribbling stuff, um, like on like a piece of parchment. And she looks up and she says, um, yeah, but we'll, we'll need it for the spell, though. So don't lose it. I won't. Don't worry. I'm not worried about a book, son. I'm worried about my people and my king. Harry. Yep. Okay, so I pick up the book and do the boost. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, as we are. So, yeah, I think every time I'm maybe just like <laughs> doing that slow walk out of the library, like they're at the other side of the door, so at this point, mm -hmm. because they're slow walking, because they realize you're not quite there yet. And uh, as you're like catching up, you open the book and. Uh, you see something on the page, Crumber. What do I see? Loads of black ink rushing out of you, and everything goes black. And we take our break there. What? You dick! I like. Oh damn! So we will uh, come back in ten minutes. Why is it always me? So I will see everybody at nine for us. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.